A purse contains 19 coins worth $3.40. If the purse contains only dimes and quarters, how many of each coin are in the purse? So with this problem, there are a few different ways we can solve it. But the approach that I'll take right now is to set two different variables, where d is equal to the number of dimes we have, and q is equal to the number of quarters we have. So then we would have one equation, since we know that the purse contains 19 coins. So the number of dimes plus the number of quarters will equal 19. And the second equation will deal with the value of the coins. So we know that the coins total to $3.40. And we know that it's some combination of dimes and quarters. And here we just have to include that the number of dimes will be multiplied by 10 cents. So if we add 9 dimes, that would be worth 90 cents. So to represent that, we can multiply this by 0.1, or 10 cents. And for quarters, they're worth 25 cents, so we'll multiply that by 0.25. So now we have two equations and two unknown variables. So from this first equation, we can simplify it and solve for one of the variables, let's say quarters. So subtracting d from each side, we have quarters are equal to 19 minus dimes. And then taking this new equation, we can substitute it into the second one, wherever we see quarters. And then we have 3.40 is equal to 0.1 times d plus 0.25 times this new value for quarters, which is 19 minus d. And now our equation only contains the variable for dimes, so we can solve for that. So rewriting this, we have 340 is equal to 0.1 times dimes plus, and now I'll distribute the 0.25 to each of these. So 0.25 times 19 would be 4.75 minus 0.25 times d, and we can subtract 4.75 from each side so that the left hand side now has negative one dollar and thirty five cents on the right hand side we can combine two quantities of dimes so 0.1 d minus 0.25 d will leave us with minus 0.15 times d and since each side is negative we can multiply everything by negative 1 to make everything positive, and dividing each side by this 0.15 will give us our final answer for the number of dimes we have. So d is now equal to 9. And if the number of dimes is 9, then the number of quarters is 10, since there are 19 total coins. And this is our final answer.